Alright, let's go. Yo, let's start. This is the Bay Recon Podcast, episode four. Man, y'all already know what that shit do, man. Let's get it. Head to your back, and you know where we at. Got the thing in my grass, and we living life fast. And I put that on the tub, motherfuckers got high. What you want, what you talk, what you rap for the game. What we talking about right now? We talking about the business credit? Nah, nah, man. We talking about like what we did for this last weekend. What you do? Shit, dog. Honestly. Last weekend? Shit, we should organizing the business. Organizing business, fucking uh, taking out, take, I took out my son to go play. I haven't really spent that much time with him like that. But yeah, it's just regular shit, routine shit. But I mean, everybody has their own little routines. What, what you do? Man, I, I was supposed to do a couple of studio sessions, but motherfuckers lagged it, so I spent a whole lot of time just chilling. Chilling, spending some uh, some personal time with the fam and shit. It's important to have your own time alone aside from what you do as a business or a side hustle. So That's some real I shit. I chose that weekend as, all right, I guess this is God just saying, hey, Silent, you need a break, bro. Here, I'm going to take this away from you today. I was like, yes. <laughs> well, you know what? That's some real shit, fool. I, 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 I sometimes work myself too, too much, bro. Five in the morning to like seven, eight o'clock at night. You know what I'm saying? And when it gets to That's like true. seven, eight That's o'clock true. at night. But to be honest, when you, tell me why sometimes when you're focused and you stay focused on one fucking thing, you'll like if you keep yourself on that same boat of being focused and not like fucking up or doing anything like that. What do you mean focused though? Like focus, like you got look a lot of like motherfuckers. He, like out you're here. a robot. Not even a robot. Yeah. yeah, someone like a robot. <laughs> so, someone not, like not a, a robot. No, 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 no. You no, robot. I know what you're about to say. <laughs> Okay. Somewhat like a robot. Yeah. I feel like that sometimes. Uh-huh. Somewhat like a robot, but but, uh, but you got a purpose in life, bro. A lot of other people don't. They get strung along wherever life takes them. How? So, for example, distractions, bro. Distractions. You get so yeah, many yeah, distractions. Yeah, yeah, this, right this, with check. This is what I went through this last week. Is that? All right, check this out. For I'm trying to do work. I'm trying to get my business off the ground. Then, bam, my uncle shows up. It's all good. You know, it's family. It's cool. You know, I got, I got. But well, people that do you favors, you have to spend that those times with. But what if it's every day, dog? Boy. What if it's every day, though? If it's every day, then you have to let them know you have a schedule to to, to stick by. You can't really be exactly. So my point being is, I noticed something hella weird this week. I, what I noticed is that I've been focused as fuck. I'm stupid focused to the point where niggas can't distract me. I can't get distracted by anybody. And when somebody does take up any like one, five, ten minutes of my time. And, it, and that I hardly, it, it bothers me, fool. Like, now, I feel like they're stealing from me. You know what I'm saying? I feel like they're stealing money from me. Stealing but how from can me. people distract you that easily? Because when someone's really focused, like... Bro, you know, uh, you, you, you one of my you're, workers... You're, you're not even paying attention to what you were doing. No, it was, nobody was one doing. of the workers, nigga, showed up at my house trying to talk to me. That's what I'm saying. I didn't invite him. He just showed up. He literally stayed for five, four... You were, you seen this motherfucker, dog. Five four hours. This nigga but didn't look, that's that's the no, that's the thing with, with when you talk to some when when you when you're talking to somebody, you don't know how long the conversation is gonna last. I wasn't even trying to talk to him. This nigga just showed up in my house. Oh yeah, I you see, see what I'm saying? Screen, yeah. I had a whole. You only had the attention of talking to him. I didn't. He showed he just, up he just at my house up. unannounced, bro. This is my. I got shit to do. My point being is this though. If you stay, see, those are the people that get controlled by distractions. So that means that they're just reacting to shit that's already happening. They don't have a plan of action themselves. You know what I'm saying? Me, I got a plan. So what I'm trying to say is this. A goal and then you hit, try to There's hit the people that are just reacting all like their whole life. They just react to other people. You know what I'm saying? So like, for example, you hear some shit happens over here on this side of town, right? A motherfucker that's easily distracted is gonna, oh, what's going on? He ain't got shit going on in his life. You get what I'm saying? The only time you're gonna see me get distracted from my purpose and where I'm going to is if it gets in the way of my purpose or where I'm going to. You know what I'm saying? So that is where I be having the issue. That's where I'm having the issue. And I'm starting to notice that there's a, I got a lot of friends, bro. I got a lot of friends all over the United States that I fuck with that are very successful people. You feel me? And what I noticed off of them is you got to cut some motherfuckers off, bro. You got to. And and then... I, I mean, some people are not providing no... no and it's not. But, but it's not because people want it. It's not because people don't want to be successful. 
is because they don't know what takes you away from being successful. Something that takes you away from being successful is putting your time in the wrong people. You know what I'm saying? When you put your time in the wrong people, time is very fucking precious, bro. Every fucking second you spend with the wrong person, that's a little bit less than you spend in on your goals, and you're gonna eventually die, bro. You know what I'm saying? I had to read a book about that time management shit to actually really realize that that shit's hell important. That you have you, in a day, bro, you only have a thousand four hundred forty-four and forty-two minutes. You know what I'm saying? Every minute counts. Every minute counts. You have to have time blocks. So my point is, I realized that. It's hard to be successful. The only hard thing about it is you just can't be distracted. So when someone's getting in your ear doing this, they better be paying for your time. That's it. If your homie baby, the only thing that the rich and the and the poor have in common is that same twenty four hours, bro. It matters what you do with that twenty four hours. That's the only thing that matters. If I'm gonna spend time with somebody, it has to be money related. That's how it is. Oh, nah, oh, nah, no, nah, no, nah, no, nah, no, nah, no, 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 Mr. Scrooge. <laughs> <laughs> That's not true. You know, your family and your really close friends, yeah, fuck it. It doesn't matter with them. But no, when you no, have, when, but, but, but this is the thing, though. No Sometimes I get super focused, dog, and check me out. I realize you get so focused sometimes two, three years pass by, you look back. Some of the people that you held in close regards, they're not even here anymore, dog. Matter of fact, they're either dead or they're in prison. Yeah, you know some of the people from high school, bro, I don't even know where, where they're at. Or I do know where they're at, and they're not in no lowly position. They're high school, wherever, you know what I'm saying? They're not here no more. Bro, they're here. Yeah. Oh, and that's, the and that's, what, that's what makes me feel like, bro, it... You might not look at it like a curse, but in the long run, it might be a blessing for you to be focused on what you're doing and trying to progress. Because there's a lot of fuckery out here that'll make you take exit routes and shit. And, and what I realize about a lot of my homies that I fuck with that are fucking like successful as people, they're doing really well, is that they're just focused on where they're trying to go. And if somebody's not focused on what they're trying to do, they just get the fuck out of there. They, they just, hey, bro, that's what you're trying to do, then I'm going to Or some people will try to reel you back in. Just to see see what it's, how you're gonna react. Like, they'll, they'll reel you back and like, in. Like, no way, what do you mean? They're gonna, they, like, they see you being successful, seeing you getting, see you getting money, doing, having a business, this, this, and this, and they'll, they'll wanna provoke you to, to reel you right back in. But to who see how, could have the power to reel you back in? Somebody that knows how to push your buttons. That knows how to push well, your buttons. Well, how does he know how to push pride, your buttons? Your pride, your pride will, will make you come right back. Your pride will make you come right back to the same situation unless you know how to, unless you know how to really avoid that situation. But look, I feel you, dog. That you got me there. Bro. I ain't even like <laughs> There's certain shit that, that I makes sense. look, bro. If you a man, in that, certain some somebody does certain things. All right, say it, Sega. You gonna say something? Go ahead, go ahead. Now you gonna say something? I should. No, go ahead. Let him hear what you gonna say, dog. Let him hear before he responds. He wants Come to hear on, dog. I ain't trying to do this. No, you go. Go. Just go okay. Ahead, no, I'm saying if you a man. And you really a man, bro, and someone knows how to push your buttons. Or there's certain things that you just have to respond to. You can't ignore this shit. If it goes on for so, so a certain amount of time, you just have to bite. It's not even on no gangster shit, none of that shit. It's just being a man, bro. You have to respond to that shit. Some shit gets disrespectful. You have to you have to act on it. And that's what I mean by getting real back in. And that's what that's what I'm saying. Like sometimes when someone sees your success, bro, jealousy is a motherfucker. That's fact. Some motherfuckers, That's fact. just That's just because they're so jealous of you, they want to see you fail, and they 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 won't even want to tell you in your face. And it be the same motherfuckers. They'll no smile offense. at you. Not they'll my homies. So don't none of my homies see this and think I'm talking about that. Nah, but it nah. be the same motherfuckers where you came from. I mean, the people know. They they they, they know who they are. They they'll smile at you. They will smile at you trying to act like it's all good, but in the, at the end of, in the back of their minds, they're thinking like, man. I wish this fool falls off. I wish something horrible happens to him. You know what I mean? But you know what? And I think that shit comes back to him. That shit, that shit will come back to him. You know what I mean? I believe in karma. 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 I believe in karma. Like karma karma happens. Karma's karma is real, nigga. I, we I believe all what, what energy shit. you put out is that energy you come, it, it comes right back to you. That's we used I, to do all, 
Tell me you got something to comment on this shit, right? Nigga, it's basically just throwing it out of my mouth. That's what I was doing. <laughs> <laughs> we be thinking the same, but that's why, yeah, I swear yeah, to God. Because yeah. no, that's, that's exactly what I was thinking. It's just like, there's some things, you feel me? Like you said, as a man, it's like you could be on this road of success and like staying out of trouble and doing what you do, you know, getting money and everything. But there's certain things, you know, fuck everybody. Fuck all these lames and motherfuckers that be hating or trolling or whatever the fuck. But there's certain things that are within your line of sight that you have no choice but to respond to because of your pride. But and, that, and it's because that's what, it, it's just what you stand for, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Especially if it has anything to do with like uh, something that you love, even if it, and it could be your business, you know what I'm saying? You could be on the road doing your shit, dude pops up at your house at fucking... But that's uh, what it, but that's you know what I'm saying? Now you have no choice but to... And someone steps on your property. But that's when it goes back to, I'm on my purpose, and if someone gets in the way of me fulfilling my purpose, now we got a problem. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You 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 made it so I have no other choice but to think about you. Okay, I have a question. How do you find your purpose for the people that the little young the dudes that don't know their purpose? Damn, that's I don't know. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. Like, how, okay, so dudes, you're saying the people that are walking. Look, this walking, is how I found my the, purpose. The people that are, are walking around here, they don't know what they're doing. There's hella kids out here that don't okay. know what they're doing, okay. stuff like that. So how do you find your purpose? Look, to be saying? honest, some of you motherfuckers are you gonna, gonna have a purpose. Things? No, some of these fools watching this, they're fucked. Some of you motherfuckers is destined to die. Some I mean, of y'all. I was a juvenile hall with a couple, a couple dudes. Yeah, and, they, and they're dead. They were, we're actually all destined to die. No, 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 no. Everybody's destined to die. Everybody's destined to die. Yeah. I believe what you're trying to say is that there's people who basically uh, they don't have no uh, nothing set in their mind on what they want to be or what their steps are going to be in life to get to where they want to go. Because people like me, you and him, we see the bigger picture and we look a hundred steps ahead and that's why we make moves accordingly to get there. But there's some people who only take their steps day by day and that they're, those are the people that are dealing with problems all the time. In survival, as a survival tactic, everybody's definition of survival is different. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, but yeah. let me break it down to the exact core fundamentals of survival. Your you life, be killed. No, 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 my friend. Check this out. <laughs> Look, we are way past yeah. our fucking point okay. of survival. You should be, you could be dead right now and you already succeeded with life. You could be dead right now and you already succeeded with life and me no, too. But the reason is, right. the reason isn't because of what we've done in the streets. The reason is what we have accomplished in the cycle of life. You've already have your offspring. You already have your offspring. I already have my offspring. As long as you have your offspring to repeat yourself, you in evolution, the way that science looks at you, you succeeded. Cause most niggas don't. Chino okay, I'm gonna didn't. Go back to what he said. Hold on, hold on. Let me finish. Right, Chino didn't have that luxury. Uh, Big boy didn't have that luxury. And those are my homies. And rest in peace to them. No creeps. But they failed. No creeps too. Little in creeps. the evolution of life, because they never produce an offspring at the moment that they were killed. Some people out here are destined to die off. Some bloodlines are destined to die because they're not smart enough to do what's expected. The fucking fruit fly lives for one day. A fruit fly lives what? for the whole no, I, mean, I don't uh, think that's right. Okay, that's cool. I'm talking about for the, for, not for succeeding with your own pride in mind, but in, when you come down to the evolution, it comes down to your eyes. I, I, I have one right. thing, I have one thing to saying. say about the bloodline thing. I feel like that only accounts for people who are uh, only children, only, like an only child. Because if somebody has uh, five siblings and this person dies young, it doesn't have You might, no, you might, your bloodline might be destined to die, dog. Yeah. But it hasn't so far. You're the one that's yeah, been yeah. here. You've survived thousands of millions of years to be right where you're at. Now, if you didn't have your son, you just fucked up. And that happens all the time. Well, people like my homies. That's horrible. Our two homies that's, yeah, got that's, killed. That's no offspring to keep going. Now, my, point, what saying, now they, my point is this. They have siblings. They do, but not their direct answers. Oh, okay, you, like, oh, the oh, bloodline is not. The bloodline is going yeah, on. Because I'm only responding to you saying the bloodline is not going to continue. It's like if they have siblings, then that's not technically. I'm true. talking about if I die and I didn't have a kid. My your 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 goal in life is to have your offspring. If look for example, let me let me uh, the fruit fly. A man, fruit, let me let me just let me just pull it over here. The fruit fly lives for one day. That's it. It only lives for one day. That's it. 
That's his lifespan. And as it's born, as soon as it's moving around, what it tries to do is have a kid, have an offspring. And after the offspring, it dies. Salmon, when they're going up river, their only thing that drives them up this river so is to have offspring. Yes. The only thing that is driven, like any type of evolution in the world, is by offspring. You get what I'm saying? And at first I was thinking it was odd, but I see my kids, and my kids act like me. They talk like me. They look like me. Now I understand. I, if I die right now, I'm cool. I'm not tripping. All this other shit is extra. I'm trying to take care of my family. I'm trying to take care of all everybody in the whole thing, you know, this and that. But really, if I die right now, I'm already straight because I've already had my offspring. I got my daughter and I got my son. You know what I'm saying? So in the core fundamentals of survival, that's what it really is. Now okay. it's about protecting your kids. But like it's like it's like what Silent said that um, you are destined to die. Everybody is, but. The big thing is survival. No, the, spot, no, the quality of living. I don't believe that. You have to have. Yeah, you, you, you're gonna die, bro. I don't believe that. Look at okay. Look at Tupac. Look at Tupac. Look at all. So the, you care more about the quality of life than your sons? Do you have? As soon as you have, okay. As soon as you have that son, now it's your mind. Because you already completed. Switches. Because you already completed your the, the thing that was required of your life, which was have a son. Yes. So if you didn't have a son, why would you give a fuck about the quality of your life? <sighs> You do have to have you do have to have offspring just so just so you so can that's the because now you're just chilling now you just now you're just relaxing now you're just having a good time. What if you have too much though? Too much what, sons? Like fifteen. <laughs> oh, then you did a great job. I wouldn't do that. I would not have fifteen kids only because I know child support. I know. I ain't child support to fuck you. I ain't gonna lie to you. Okay. Man. Hey, they made it. They made it. They made it so we could not have have the kids because of child support. I'm gonna tell you the truth. That's why I be watching my bro. I be watching my shit. All of a sudden, everybody wants to use a condom to pull out. You know what I'm saying? We're broke. We're like sixteen kids. Nah, I don't have nothing to say, but I just think this is that's facts. I mean, so I know a couple motherfuckers who got like fucking five baby mamas and shit like that. So I guess they doing really well. Because they just started their bloodline in like all over the state. Their check, their check is at a <coughs> <Tony. No. laughs> check no. is at a zero. No, 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 look, what, what happens with that look for I'm a responsible person, fool. And to be honest with you, I could never look. It's not even spend it's not even about, No, it's not yes. Two to two fifteen kids, thirty minutes to um Joshua. Thir another thirty minutes to other kids. Another thirty minutes to other kids. How are you gonna really raise them right? You take That's them crazy. all on a fucking trip at the school. No, fuck hey, that, are, no. You gonna, are you are you gonna buy a bus? Look, boy. <laughs> Look, that's, that, that's I mean, a bus if it's like fifty people. Bro. <laughs> hey, hey, are you? Are you? Are you, are you, are you, are you <laughs> look, are you gonna? Are you gonna put a little backpack so they don't get lost? But it was, <laughs> you would have to <laughs> put a fucking leash on these niggas. <laughs> no, right? that's, what, that's what I'm talking they about. They do have that shit. They do. That's I see what I'm talking about. The whites, about. fool. The whites, they just they just fucking have no respect for their dog. Kids. They get over here, Lisa. Lisa. They Come have no respect for Oh, you crazy! Not even the whites, boy. Everybody does that shit. Mexicans don't do that. Shit. I haven't seen our one no, Mexican yeah. with a leash on their kids. No, they have. They have them on the chest. They have them right there on the chest. They don't have them in no leash. They already have them on the chest. You got me. I did that one time. Next to the yeah. heart, though. Yeah. <laughs> they have them right there in the little little backpack. The little, the the little, right there. The little front pouch. Yeah. The kangaroo pouch thing. I fucking just carry myself. But I've been. I, I see. Man, I see. I see one person with a with like a little thing that the kid can't get lost. You know how you can't lose your keys. They have a little like yeah, a little I've seen that shit. I've seen that shit too. Yeah, okay. They have a like a rope so the kids ain't never. The thing is, once shit. you got your kids, yeah. dog, you want to protect them. I feel like after yeah. you have I just want to say it straight. If I ever have more kids, I'm not putting them on the leash. I feel like that's wrong. I would never yeah. do that either. But my point here is, once you got your kids, you want to protect them. Which brings me to my next point. There's motherfuckers out here trying to try to fuck up your kids' minds, dog. What do you feel about Lil Nas X? Or what do you feel about the last video he did? I didn't even watch the last video I, he did. I, yeah. I did. I'm saying I, 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 I didn't watch some it. Shit popped up, bro. I, I didn't watch shit, it, but you know how YouTube is on. I don't know how YouTube is on your guys' phones, but like with mine, if I scroll through stuff, like it'll start playing a preview of the video without me even clicking on it, and it'll let me know if I want to watch it or not. You were loving yeah. that shit, huh? And I'll just keep scrolling through it. You were scrolling that bitch for a minute. And then I, when I seen that, I was all like, "Whoa, that's just tight." I don't know why. Oh yeah. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why. Oh, boy, I like that shit. Hey, Sonny right. was on that bitch for a minute. He was like, oh, what, what, he, is, he, what is he doing? Schooling down that motherfucking board like yeah. that. <laughs> what? Like, what? He, I mean, he, he didn't even switch that bitch. I don't even know. 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 I don
that shit. Yeah. He didn't pause that shit. That's he got so, me. So you watched it more than he's you did. I don't know nothing about that. I'll say that about myself. Like, he got me. I was entertained. But but what do you you don't think? Look, dog, when I seen that, the first thing I thought was, damn, it's like, cause my son be on YouTube. And it's like I feel like that'll be wrong for my son to see because like he doesn't know what his sexuality is yet at such a young age. Cause you know when when kids reach a certain age, they start understanding how they want to be. It's the reality of the world that we live in. You know what I'm saying? If they're gonna be straight, you know, bisexual or gay or whatever, you know what I'm saying? It's yeah. just like you can't control those things. It's just sometimes that stuff happens. But I feel like that's wrong for uh, for somebody like him with the amount of uh, exposure that he has and how famous he is to be doing a video like that and just letting it be able to just go out there, you know what I'm saying? It, I feel like it is a little bit of a manipulation. That's something that you should be more careful about because, I mean, it's either you're, you're this way or you're this way, you know what I'm saying? And that's the way it's always been and that's how you should teach your children and as they grow up and they start feeling a different way, then there's that door you could open and, okay, well, you know, there's a possibility of this, that's probably why you feel like this way. You know what I'm saying? There should be rules and guidelines to it and not just let it be like, Bam, all open, just like this, motherfuckers dancing, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That shit ain't cool with me, dog, and I don't, I feel like it should not be cool with any parent. The only people I can see it being cool with are people who say, share the same uh, sexuality as him. You know what I'm saying? I don't feel like, me personally, I'm speaking for myself, that that should be okay for our kids to see. I feel like they're trying for to... For people think, right? being, uh, I mean, I don't know, it, it's very complicated, but that, that's how I feel, that's what I believe. You know what I'm saying? I, I feel like that's wrong and that, that just, uh, whoever the hell is promoting him or whoever the fuck his management team is should not sh let shit like that be okay. What do you think? I feel like manipulation and influence. But music's always been an influence and uh, kind of a manipulation. So, but they're using it for the right, the wrong reasons and I feel like they're trying to, uh, I feel like they're trying to they're trying to like they're trying to lead the kids astray. They're trying to they're trying to mis misguide them, and also they're trying to cut off our they're trying to cut off our kids. And oh yeah, that'll mess up that'll mess up a motherfucker's legacy. They're trying to offspring. That's what we're just talking about. They're trying to demasculate our population. That's the word I was looking for. I see you. That's the word. They're I trying talking. to demasculate our population, and this is how they're doing it. Number one thing that they're using to do it is. Okay, when you watch a TV channel, right? You watch BET, right? Have you ever watched BET? I've watched BET, but I haven't seen that. Okay, so if you watch BET, time, what bro. are you expecting to watch? Black entertainment. If you watch the Mexican, you watch telenovela, you watch fucking television, what are you expecting to watch? A novela, right? Mm -hmm. So everybody has their categories and what they're expected to watch, right? Let me explain to you this though. Holy now, if you're watching telenovela, you don't expect to see some black people on there. Let's keep it 100. Or speaking English. You expect to see Spanish. You're watching BET. You expect black entertainment. Why don't these um, LB, LGBTQ community have their own channel? So if people want to watch that type of shit, they can go on there and watch it. Look, let's keep it 100. Pornhub. Let's keep it 100. You say, I want to watch. They got categories. You want to watch homosexual? You gay? You want to watch homosexual shit? Watch it. But why do we have to watch shit we don't want to watch? Let them be careful. Why are you trying to fucking come into the Disney Channel? Lil Nas X up on the Disney. Nigga, this ain't about gay shit. With this I channel. don't even know you. It's about, it's it's about kids. You get what I'm saying? Keep your shit God, on a gay. Why don't we have them a gay channel where they can all be at? And if you want to watch something gay, watch it right there. Right. You get what I'm saying? Why are you trying to surprise us with this type of shit? Now, the first thing is that I think that they're trying to do is they're trying to demasculate our population. Number one is because... They don't want minorities to reproduce so fucking fast because they want to keep control. Now, check this out. If they using a black boy, a black boy to reach, they already did the, the, the Old Town Road, all that bullshit. He did that already, so they already watching him. Now they hitting him with this. It is a proven fact, bro. Little kids are very um, uh, impressionable. So whatever they see, they're going to react to. You feel me? Like even gang banging or whatever it is. I mean, that's why I say that you can't drink alcohol till you're 21 because your mind's fully not developed. It's not impressionable. So why the fuck are they trying to push this homosexual shit? Because they want kids to be gay. Why? Because they don't want us to reproduce because we're reproducing at a faster rate than the white male. At this rate, by 2050, we're going to be the majority, not the minority. 
You see what I'm saying? So what they're trying to do is slow us down. Now on top of that, they're trying to take the demand. We're very proud people. We don't listen to the rules. We have two sets of rules. The United States rules and our personal rules. If a motherfucker slaps my mom, I'm beating his ass. I don't give a fuck if I'm going to jail. You see what I'm saying? You have your own set of rules. Mexicans are very prideful. Black people are very prideful. They have a set of rules that they abide by themselves. When we go to prison or jail, we abide by our rules, not their rules. You see what I'm saying? So they want to make us... Sometimes people will go down. They'll go down. They'll go down just yeah. because. So they're trying to make us into pussies. They're trying to demasculate us. So with this fool Lil Nas X, why are they pushing him so hard into BET Awards? We didn't want to watch that. If you wanted to watch that, we would have went to a gay channel. Why don't we have a gay channel they can all be at? Because they don't. If you see telenovela and you see a nigga speaking English, nigga, this ain't for English. Go to an English channel. This is for novelas. You feel me? <laughs> if you fucking want to, that's what it is. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Why that, are they that, trying to force it? That, that is a good way to put it because if you don't put it that but way. But that's the record label. They, they, so they, they would label it as some, some type of hate, but there's a lot of truth in what you're saying because if they're going to watch something, like if they want to watch the news in Spanish, they're obviously going to go to Telemundo. If they want to go over here and look at the news in English, they're going to go to Channel 2 in the Bay Area. If they want to go ahead and, and watch the BET Awards and, and see uh, what uh, black su uh, successful men are doing in music, they're going to watch the BET channel. 3.5%. That's, that's why those channels are made because they are actually attracting those demographics. 3.5% is the homosexual population in the world. Why don't they make it? Why would we want to see that shit? It, it, the, the whole world goes by majorities, bro. 3.5% is not enough for every other fucking... And the thing is, you're not even a race. You're just a sexual gender. That shouldn't even come to play until you're actually having sex with somebody. Yeah, exactly. You feel know I me? Mean? That's not even... A, that's your sexual preference. That's not how you... Like, I'm Mexican. I can't change the fact that I'm Mexican. So it is what it is. It's not a race. It's a sexual preference. Yeah. That shouldn't even be discussed amongst... Do we ever talk to somebody and be like, hey, are you, do you like dick? No! <laughs> it never comes to that. Yeah. It never comes to that situation. Whatever you like, that's your shit. You feel me? Whatever I like is my shit. Why are we discussing sexual preference and putting that in little kids' minds? <laughs> that shit don't make no sense. Hey, no, I don't, I don't like that. <laughs> you know Why did you look me in my eyes no. and Well, you right now. <laughs> But you get what I'm saying? Sexual preference, but it shows you now that they're trying to force it on the BET awards. Now they're trying to force it. Who knows who they Watch if you see a telenovela on some fucking, on some homosexual shit. We don't want to watch that. Make your own channel that has to do with homosexual stuff. And if people want to watch it, then we'll go into that channel. It's just like Pornhub. Yeah. So that shows you right there blatantly they're trying to demasculate our population. They don't want us because they know that we could fuck some shit up. They want us to be I mean, pussy. You can't, you can't create no babies when you're doing somebody in the booty, my boy. That shit not good. Cool. <laughs> that's a real shit. That shit ain't crazy. That's so that's, the that's the point I'm trying to nah, make with this boy, Lil Nas X. Hey, my, he's being used by these corporate media people that are controlling the media? That's what I was trying to get to. It's, it, it's really the fucking... It's really the, the fucking... Um, the, the record feel, labels behind all yeah, that shit. I feel, they I think feel, they think that that shit's gonna get hell of stupid play, it's and they want to push it like crazy. It, it's it's entertainment. It's something that's gonna cause controversy, like it's doing right now. It's gonna get people to react a certain way. I don't think it's entertainment. I it's, I think it's a it's it's anything, an attack on our population. Anything that is music is entertainment, and they're using it as an attack. Yes, but I feel like that's not the head of the snake. I feel like whoever's behind him. Doing all this Ooh, shit. Oh, half of the music, okay. shit, half of the music people, the industry, the half of the music industry is They're homosexuals. Gay. Yes. Now, now let me tell you something else. My my uncle used to work for a bunch of gay people in Marin County. They all fuck with each other. They, they all got money. If you know somebody that's gay, I guarantee you he got money, bro. And the reason is they have a community amongst themselves. I know some people that will pretend to be gay just so they can get certain contracts. My boy, bro. I'm nah. not lying. They'll nah, get know, certain contracts so that they can move up. They be up. fucking around. They be fucking around. Oh. I don't got anything against the gay community, but please stop trying to push your agenda on us. I don't think it's, it's necessarily the gay community. It's Lil Nas X making that that's move. Not about that's going to make Little people... Nas X. That's you believe make, he made that move by himself? No, no, it's, no, no. it's the music industry that, that's pushing that. that. Yeah, oh, yeah. That's, what, a, I just, that's what I just said. He's yeah. not the head of the snake. Yeah, exactly. He's not the head of the He's snake. He's being used by these people that are already yes. in power. 
Now, to yeah. the masculinists, that's what I think the end goal is. I agree that. Because we're, if you check the fucking scoreboard, we're doubling up our population way faster than them. They don't want that. They want us to start cutting it short. Why would they use a black boy to do this? Because, to be honest, black culture is the most popular culture. Hip-hop culture in, yeah, in, the, in the United States the right now is fucking blowing up. So they're using Little Nas X to, to get this agenda out the way. And I can see it. You feel me? I got 2020 vision, bitch. I can see. What I'm saying is, is that going back to the topic about uh, Lil Nas X and about that being exposed to kids and things like that, is that um, a lot of kids, and th this is no fault against parents because kids should not necessarily have a YouTube account until they're old enough to be responsible. Because when you're a parent, you can set restrictions on tablets. I mean, I, I don't think it lets you until you actually put Tablets it and everything like that. But the thing is, is that uh, when you do not have a YouTube account and you hop and you open the YouTube app and choose just to use it as a guest, you see the most popular things at that moment. That video, Will Lil Nas X, is going to be one of the first things that pop up. A kid is not going to know the difference of what to click and what to, to not click. They're going to scroll until they see something. No? But say if they click on that on accident. Now they've just seen something that they do not understand and they have to ask their parents about at a very young age, which they should not have to. It's making uh, a... Uh, an, uh, it's giving a negative reaction out of children. They should not have to experience that or have to ask their parents about that at a young age. And that is the reality of the fact that... Motherfuckers that whoever's back in this play like it, motherfuckers in the music industry like you said like you said a lot of them are homosexual So it's I feel like that that is very uh, three point it, five percent. It's, it's of the very population it's, is homosexual. Yeah, it's very manipulated Think about that. Our kids should not yeah. very be, small percentage it, it should not be that easy for kids to look at something like that because over there it shows naked men and their private parts censored that that is not right for a kid to look like look at accidentally there's not a lot of videos on YouTube right now with famous... Look at young buck. Look listen, young hold buck. on, hold on. There's not a lot of videos yeah, right now... Crazy. <laughs> hey, there's not a lot I'm of videos crazy. right crazy. now that's on YouTube that a kid can just hop on the YouTube app and see the most popular video and see uh, uh, naked women uncensored. You know what I'm saying? So one of the first things that a kid can see now is naked men uncensored. That's very disres uh, disrespectful to parents that are raising their kids and just uh, to kids in general. That that should be like a form of like fucking uh, of somebody who's a fucking uh, child predator or something like that. No, nah, what I was gonna tell you, what I was gonna tell you, it's kind of it kind of goes into minority, minority, and um, like I, like I was telling you, or we we're talking about this earlier. Um, after you get a certain point in life, bro, do you think like okay? Let's say like Mexicans and blacks. Okay, let's say when you're poor, bro, you have to think a certain way. Like when you're like you have, you have to think a certain way. But do you think the do you think after you reach a certain certain amount of money, will you rob? Will you steal? I'm I sorry. I'm not laughing about what you're saying. I'm laughing on the face he made after he hit the image. Oh, that's that just strong. strong. That's just strong. That's strong. Silent. That peanut butter. That peanut butter. Let's have silent. Let's have silent. Silent. Yeah. Do you think that a minority, black or a Mexican man, would steal? Yeah. No. Do you think when that they're poor? When no, no, let, 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 yeah. So now let's say, if a black or a minority or a Mexican man Sorry. was rich, yeah, would okay. he steal? Uh, it would have to be more valuable than his most valuable item. So you think that he was still a black and a Mexican man that was rich? Wait, what? So my point is this. <laughs> yeah, my point is this. My you point just is said, this. <laughs> hold on. You Wait. said, all right. I think you. I think when you, you are broke. Say it again. No, no, no. Hold say on, it again, on, dog. Because you just said something weird to me. Hold okay, on. check this out. Say it again. Dog. If a uh, black or Mexican, mm -hmm. do you think they'll steal? What? You you trying to put race behind it? It's more, it's not really race, it's more like My a poverty party. line. Okay? My point is this. Yes, they will steal. Yes, they will. And they gotta be poor to steal. But now my point is this. Would you think that if they were rich, they would steal? It depends on if, on how they were brought up and 
if they are that type of person that has that stealing mentality. We're talking about when I'm talking about some, I'm not talking about every single person that we're thinking of because then you can't yeah. make a point because that's no, no, called no. An, that, that's called like what do you uh, mean? Though? I'm trying to I'm trying to break yeah, it down. I'm trying to break it down. down. Benefits, that's yeah. called anecdotal. Anecdotal means that so, I, for I, example, I, I, uh, some, some Sureños usual. are known to be Mexican. Mm -hmm. Right, so we'd be like, "Hey, kill that shit. What's up? Wait, kill that way." That's how we are. Not every one of us is like that, but the majority is. So the ones that are different from the stereotype are called anecdotal. That means you can't work with that. For example, unusual. Unusual is not normal. For example, the California, the United States education system educates everybody off of the majority, not the anecdotal. So the people that are different from the norm get in resource classes. Because they need extra attention because they don't brains don't operate like everybody else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we can never work off of anecdotal shit because it's just the people that are a little different. But the majority it, yeah. of everybody, that's what we go off of because we want to protect the majority of United States citizens' lives. You know what I'm saying? So when I say majority anecdotal, so for example for factual what you just said is the majority of the minorities, which is the black and the Mexicans, mm -hmm. are in poverty. Mm -hmm. And the ones that are not are anecdotal because that's yeah. just a fact. So then they would not steal if they're rich. Now, if they were rich, they would not steal. They would not steal. Why? Because they've already done what they got to do to get what they want. They've already made it through the trials and tribulations that it takes them to get what they want, whether if it was taught for them, taught to them, or if they got it their own way. If they're already rich and they're still getting money, then there's no reason for them to steal anything. They'll be like, oh, that's nice. I'm gonna buy that too. Or actually, there's a better version of that. I'm gonna buy that one. Unless you're a stingy motherfucker. <laughs> Guys, damn. I feel you on what you're saying, dog. And that kind of proves my point of what I'm talking about. So, for example, now, if a Mexican or a black minority was to be rich, would they steal? Chances are no. But now, let me tell you a different question. If there was a white male that was rich, would he steal? Uh, no. You don't think so? I believe they will. And the reason is this. Check this out. You're greedy. Man, you're Madoff, God. nigga Jordan Damn. Hellflower, I they've be all rich. been rich. They've all been Damn. rich and they've all stolen. You love money. No, it's not that. The fact is that there's different start off points. So the majority of the minorities start from the bottom. So anything that they get from that point is a come up. But what's the your definition of the bottom, though? It doesn't matter. Everybody's the, the definition of the bottom. That yeah. does matter. Rich is the one that you can't calculate because everybody's definition of rich is just perspective. But bottom is when you can't afford to eat, when you're hungry, when you ain't got no food. You feel me? When you can't do things, when you can't and buy I've been, clothes. I've been lower than the bottom. Then. Okay, so that's us. God, just, you're proving my point. Yeah. Minorities and the blacks, we come from that bottom. So when we finally elevate, we're scared to go back down. So we won't ever risk going to jail. You see what I'm saying? But now, you got the white man. A majority of the white folks are born at the top. Right? They're born at the top. So, they don't give a fuck about a little stealing. This shit ain't shit to them. Like I said, being rich is a perspective. You feel me? It gives yeah, it, someone's it's rich is 50,000, 100,000 shit. A million. Exactly. They're born there. So they never even got to the position of trying to struggle to the top. So they'll definitely steal. So now when it's when it comes to a different mentality, it's like, <clears throat> will the white man steal if he's rich? They do it all the time. You can check facts. Fact check the whole thing. Jordan Belfort from the Wolf of Wall Street was fucking rich. He kept stealing. You feel me? Bernie I'm Madoff fuck. fucking stole. There was white people that were scared. You know what I'm saying? That's all their choice to be. I'm I'm I sure. Mean, Look, I don't I don't about. I don't have direct comparisons, but I'm I'm sure. That within every race, there's a there there could be somebody that you could That's what that, I was that, that you can speak day. that in the same in the same energy that you're yeah. saying. So when you when you ask me things, right? Uh, I put everything on an even playing field. Even if uh, you know majority of the whites are presented with a uh, higher starting point than the minorities, right? Which are uh, Latinos and blacks. Yes. Okay. So with me continuing with that. When you talk to me and you tell me, will a, uh, uh, will a black or Mexican that's rich steal? I'm telling you no, because they did what they've done to fucking go and get that bag, right? 
Okay, now when you talk to me about is some, there, but why did they why did they do what they have done to get the bag? Listen, they because they were poor, they had no choice. It was off a necessity. That's the that story that you put way. in your head for the people that you're that's thinking of. No, that's, that's the story necessity. that I put in my head for myself. Exactly, because I've gone through it. That's what I said. I mean, well, you don't so have no option. What I'm trying to say is, so what I'm trying to say is, is that it's the same thing. It could be the same thing for uh, somebody that is white. Not saying no, that. No, no. Now let me let me. Not re- saying, but ahead. but of course, the majority is higher for people who are Caucasian or white or whatever you want, European or whatever. It's not a race thing. Listen, That's what no, I want no, to no. go off. It's not a race thing. So, but it is what's going on in the United States. It is, but it's so, not. It, they have a higher chance for especially for the ones who are starting already at a good playing field because they already start off better than a exactly. lot of people. Exactly. I got a, I got a good, I got okay. a good comeback. I, I, go, right, go, right, go right. Right. Look, this is all I want to Lies. say. It's not a race thing for me, but it, it technically is a race thing because of the way it plays out. Now, for example, the wealth you, gap is super off. Oh, that's facts. That's, it's, it's so the fact up. that it's so, so, so fucking huge. That's, that's why I said. That's why no, I said no, no, no. the ratio is higher. No, the thing is this. Look, check it out. I don't give a fuck if you're white, black, or Mexican. It just so happens to be though that the black and the Mexican are fucking majority poor, and the white is rich. Yeah. Now it wouldn't play out any other way. It wouldn't matter to me. So basically, my conversation is the poverty. Yeah. Poverty stricken people against the wealthy people. But to make it very clear to everybody, you know what's kind of crazy though? Mm. Switching the subject. What happens when the majority of crackheads are white people too? (laughs) 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 Ain't no fucking lie. Nah. Nah, nah. The majority of crackheads are white people too. And and look at it. Look, drive around Vallejo. It's not the majority of white people. There's not a lot of white people in Vallejo. Hey. That's what I was about to tell you. Like, nah. Hey, Vallejo is there's the most not, it, is the most diverse city white, in the world. Crackers, exactly. So you can't use that to explain the United States because it's diverse. Yeah, of course. You I mean, I guess every demographic in every single city is going to be a little bit different. When you look at the United but States. But I feel like white people are more subject to drug addiction when it comes to I like think it's, it's, actually it's being area, broken bro. down and stuck on the streets. Because when I drive around. They're more subject I to be serial seeing, killing. Oh, yeah. That's what it is. That too. Really, they'll kill them. Yeah, yeah, that that the schools, that too. Their mental hey. health is fucked up. But yeah. you know why their mental health that is too. fucked up? Because they're born majority with entitlement. A silver entitlement. School. Entitlement. Yes, entitlement. And that and, and any little thing will throw them off. Yeah. What? He called me a bitch, mom. I'm going to kill him, no, mom. No, no, no. He's a silent one. I'm not going to say nothing. And one day he's going to come through. Blow up. Not say shit and pull out a fucking Uzi from his backpack. <laughs> That's the shit that you guys have to be on point. That's with. why I was always nice the to all the white kids brother, in my the class. Quiet, the quiet ones, the motherfuckers is crazy. You have to watch out for you. Them motherfuckers, motherfuckers all fucked up being mean to me as a kid. Silent <laughs> 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 was Sally. the one. He came back with hey, a blue Sally. rag like nigga. It's Sally. me. Sally. I'm some real <laughs> shit, bro. You Mexican dog. You got me fucked <laughs> up. <laughs> no, but honestly, that's just the point I wanted to make. But look, like we were saying, the kids are under attack. I feel they're under attack. And on another kids point, are under attack by all, all angles. All kids are under attack, uh, yeah, but my bro. point is this. It's because their mind's not fully developed until they're like 21, 22. That's when they can actually defend themselves and see what they want, what they want now, to do. Now, even the morals and standards of our people are even being under question with this motherfucker, WAC 100 and 6 9 doing an interview together. Man. Now, that goes even into some different shit when they're it comes to the street. But yeah, look, with them, with, look, with, with them the, I see, look... I'm not gonna lie. I've seen that interview. That has everything to do the with way, us. The way I, the way I not, see that shit though is. It doesn't have everything to do with us, but yeah. Wack 100. I think he was presenting it more like as a, as a fact, like to get on six nine, not trying to be on his side. No, no, he's doing. He should not have done that. Period. That Until he got on with Twenty One Savage and st- started talking about actually a, a like a, a violence or like a fight, something like that. That's when that's when that's when I started thinking like Wack 100 is the money. Wack 100 is a money hungry individual. And you know what? The the thing is, he don't like Nipsey Hussle. And you know why he don't like Nipsey Hussle? Because Nipsey Hussle believes in a couple of things that he could never stand to believe in. And Nipsey Hussle believed this. Yeah, no principle. That, no. Nipsey Hussle believed that this is main part, main shit that he said. And you know, this shit hit me when I heard him speak these things. Is that he said, a man that conforms to the world 
You feel me? That that man right I there. I you that shit, fool. Yeah, but yeah, I, that's what show me. Yeah. Look, a man that conforms to the world is not. You know, he's just conforming to the world. He's not gonna change the world. He's gonna do what the world is telling him to do. It's the man that conforms with the world. No, it's the man that doesn't want to conform to the, the world. world which it wants to change. Progress. It wants to change the world to how he is. Well, that's the only man that can ever create progress. Now, like for example, Malcolm X, uh, um, uh, Martin Luther King, all them men try to change the world, the world to their thinking, to the way to and where adapt they, the way they think instead of the guy trying to adapt the way the world thinks. And that's the word. That, that's what he meant. The progress. That's where the progress gets made. So Malcolm. So this he also says something. He says this: If you're trying anything that you can do to come up in life, you're opportunist. Now, opportunist is a piece of shit. The reason he's a piece of shit is because he'll do anything to get on top. He'll even go past his morals and his standards. You get what I'm saying? To quote one of your songs. So, if I can do anything to get rich, I would have been rich. Now, look at Nissy Hustle. He could have been stupid rich, but he didn't want to go the route of sucking another nigga's dick to being another motherfucker's I mean, whatever that's why second man. That's why sometimes the progress takes a little longer. It takes you longer. Yeah, you don't want to. You don't want to bow down to the next person that is that that you don't you don't stand for that because you have integrity and you have morals and you have principles. standards, principles or whatever. So yes. my point being is this: Nissy also has a whole thing about this where he said, "Look, I won't ever do something that's gonna go against my morals and my standards and my principles, and I won't do that shit." He had a chance to sign with Rick. He Ross. could have gone up. This. He could have signed with Rick Ross. He could have signed with Rockefeller, but he didn't do it. But he didn't do it because he didn't want it. If he was assigned to um, Rick Ross, he wouldn't have put Rick Ross wouldn't have put on his his people. And he said, "I did. I didn't sign that. I like the deal and everything. I didn't sign to Rick Ross because it was not gonna be good for my people, and my people were gonna get left hungry. So that's why he didn't sign with them. And now I, I was listening to him like, man, that's when I knew Nipsey Hussle was like a real. Um, he he actually fed he fed his neighborhood. He was he really was for his people. Like the 100%. difference between an opportunist and somebody that has integrity is at the end of the day, your yeah, opportunist will too, take any opportunity. Any opp there's always going to be a better opportunity. So he'll even dog out his own homies. He'll dog out his own people. And at the end of the day, the way that we're raised is you can't get to this level of opportunity without... Um, it, it matters more what you feel about and yourself that's why I told than you it takes you longer. It matters more about what you feel about yourself than about what other people look at you. If you look at him, whenever he did an interview or a meeting or anything, he was just fucking, you feel me? He was sweat pants down. He wasn't suited and booted like everybody else in the room because he wasn't trying to conform to their way of thinking. He was trying to do everything the way that he thought of it. Now, when it comes to what he says okay, specifically is opportunists or snakes. Yes. And you got to keep your integrity and your morals. Now, when you keep your integrity and your morals, look, I got something on that though. But hold on, let me let me finish yeah, my okay. point. When you keep true to your integrity and your morals, you might not be as rich as the next nigga. You might not have two billion. But what is money really? You get what I'm saying? When you can really get to that next level, if you get to the let me finish my point, my boy. Because when you get to the next point, when you get to that point of. You can say you did it with your integrity and your pride because at the end of the day, that's all you really got. And if you die, that's what you got. And when he said that, it made me kind of question myself because I I got I got some I got business shit and things where I talk to people, and it made me look at myself a little bit like man, maybe I should be a little bit more like my culture, a little bit more like my people. You feel me? And uh, and take more pride in what we are. And if somebody wants to fuck with me, he can fuck with my people. You get what I'm saying? Instead of who I'm trying to impersonate the white man. Instead, I could be fucking with my people. And if you want to fuck with me just like Nipsey Hussle did, you can fuck with my people. And that's where we can go from at that point. You feel me? And that's what Nipsey Hussle did. And maybe he wasn't as rich as Jay-Z and all these other motherfuckers, but you know what? At the end of the day, that shit don't even fucking matter. It matters how true you were to yourself. How far can you get with being true to yourself? That's impressive. Because anybody could act... You can act like a, like you're gay. Suck a nigga's dick. 
to get a million dollars. You get what I'm saying? And then yeah. you just fucked off your whole morals and principles. I would never do that. You'd have to shoot me in the head to do some shit like yeah. that. So that's where it comes down to morals and principles. If you're that type of person that's an opportunist, because that's what that's what the society is breeding is opportunists. So if you're that type of person that's gonna do that, There's when you finally you get know. that shit, are you gonna give a fuck? No, you're not, because you did it off opportunity. Anybody could do that. When you keep your morals and your integrity straight, and you reach those pinnacles yeah. in life events, that's when you get an applaud like my nigga Nipsey Hussle. You feel me? And shout out to him because he taught me something. What are you saying? What I was going to tell you is I felt like he went, but do you, look, the way we were talking about this the other day and I told you why he came back to that, to that store. He went back to that store when he should have been a little bit more on point when he was in that store. And I think that, I think he he went back to show love to his his people, right? But obviously he didn't he he didn't really take care of um, too much of his security. Like if that would have been me, I would have instantly. If I would have had that money, I would have instantly had hell security guards or like I would have had backup, just in case a situation like that happens. You know what I mean? Because he looked out for his people, but I think a little too much. Because yeah, you're right. God damn. You he looked out for his people. He but fucked up at that much. point. He, he, he thought he was untouchable when, bro, you have to know that anybody can get touched. Anybody can get touched and you have to be on point. And always, if you're at that level, if you're if you're at that level, you should have already knew to have security or if your boys really have your back, have them licensed up. Licensed up and ready, ready, ready. They're, they have to ready for the yeah, time. True, good. true. Ready to go. Yeah, because you can't be, you can't get too comfortable. As Never. soon as you get too comfortable, that's when some shit pops up. Always. Nipsey Hussle was a Always. lesson to be learned more than one ways. You feel me? More than one ways. He was lesson to be learned in how to treat business, how to keep true to your integrity, and a lesson because he died. Yeah, and, and I, and I, I admire from that his boy. mistakes, but but at the same time, yep. you 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 got a good point now. He's dead, so in the game of life, he took a L. Why? He had his security up. There ain't no coming back. Hey, look, this ain't the game. There ain't no repeat. This ain't no game over. When you die, there's, there's you there's die. No restart. You mean? Yes. Yes, exactly. Yeah, because I was, we were talking about this the other day, and I was thinking to myself like, man, if I was in his position. And I already had those millions. I would have instantly have. Been, I would have been a little bit more prepared, more aware. Because after you get into those positions, people get. They, they, they don't want. To he see was too comfortable age. because exactly. he thought he was bringing too much jobs to the community. Never underestimate the poverty levels. Never underestimate the people you're around. Never underestimate your enemies. That's never one rule. That's never one rule for us. Never no. underestimate your enemy. enemy. For real. Never. Think what? of that individual as the same person that you are against yourself and try to beat them every time and if you can't at least have some offspring ready <laughs> yeah, you feel me because yeah, uh, right. hey that t that that fucking the 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 tide will turn one day and when it turns at least have your offspring ready how many ready to do whatever you weren't able to do because at the point after you have offspring is just making sure that they're straight and they're ready to live a long life you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's true, but... And that goes back into finances. finances you feel me? Yeah, what does. finance situations... Look, we're here. We're here right now, today, to this point. We've made some good decisions, some smart decisions. So it goes back to what type of decisions have we made to keep us alive this long? We had to I survive think some life. money in your pocket will make your life Oh, no, that's nice. Better. That's nice. We got to talk about life events, though. Number one, yes. rent. Mortgage, nigga, bills, car payments, everything like the that. 15 and the 30th, man, or the 28th, I mean. A lot of people, a man, lot of people ain't on bitch. that shit. You feel me? You got to have situations come into play because the streets won't teach you this. The streets will teach you how to shoot a motherfucker. The, the streets will teach you how to do some shit. But the streets won't teach you how to Maneuver. accumulate money, how to handle that money, where to put that money. How to save up that money? How to pay your bills? I, even start, I, even start, I, feel, start I feel like it will, based on the motherfucker that's teaching you how to do it. Like we, like 
anybody can go ahead and work a, a nine to five job or own their own business or be a, or be a full time uh, mm. uh, hustler. You feel me? So it's like exactly what you just said. It's it, it's a mentor. So who's putting you on? But th that's the thing. It's either in the streets. If you're gonna be able to maintain all of that, you're either gonna have a mentor. Or you're gonna go ahead and uh, and do this shit by trial and error until you figure out what's right for you. You know what I'm saying? Because motherfuckers are only gonna do it the wrong way for so long, right? They're not gonna be over here. They're, they're gonna do it the wrong way until they start noticing. Like a smart motherfucker is gonna do it the wrong way for a little while, and they notice like you know what? I need to start putting this money. But not in everybody's else. a smart dude. You know what I'm saying? The majority are not smart. But go ahead, keep, keep going. Oh yeah. It's, it's, just like what you said, motherfuckers ain't smart. But you can learn from books, and really books. Um, we learned from books. Because look. But a lot of our homies didn't learn from books. A lot of our people don't read fucking books. And that's exactly why these motherfuckers are because in the game. Now I try to read, six nine trying to come back in the shit, and Wack 100 is supporting him, bro. And he's trying, to, he's trying to weasel himself back in there. That's my perfect example of Nipsey Hussle. That's why Wack 100 don't like Nipsey Hussle. Because that's Wack, 100, Wack 100 is an opportunist, homie. He'll go against his morals and his fucking perception, his integrity and his standards to get that bag, the bag. You want that bag, a hell of a bag, dog. Like, that mo that's what Nipsey Hussle would never that do that. Nipsey Hussle, would, that's why they don't get along. That's why he don't ever give Nipsey Hussle the props he deserves. Because Nipsey Hussle is not an opportunist, homie. He kept his integrity, his morals throughout his whole endeavors. Yeah, there's certain way you have to go. Wack 100 up. didn't, dog. And that's why Hell he threw this bullshit. Exactly. Wait, we're interviewing 6 9 That's already against the code of conduct. And he's doing it and then speaking for a bunch of motherfuckers that, like, as if they're supposed to stand behind I, him. And you actually making motherfuckers look bad. Yeah, I feel doing like, that. Yeah. Don't do shit that goes against code of conduct. You within the same vicinity as a motherfucker with no doors. Or security guards stopping you from doing something to an individual that fucking spoke on people and put things on paperwork. Like my, like Nina Boy from I Neighborhood Crib said, nothing is above the infrastructure. You know what I'm saying? So there's a structure to this whole code of conduct. And whack things, he's above it. And he's going to learn sooner than later. That there's a consequence for going above this. Let that man catch he a will. case he in will. the county jail. He will. It's cause he but if he if he got it if he has his hands in it deep enough, then motherfuckers gonna do whatever the fuck he says regardless of what he does. But in the in the world that we come from, that shit is not acceptable. If he goes to county jail in L.A. County, which L.A. County is like by itself is on prison. You feel me? It's big. It's got more, so much motherfuckers in there. It's about a prison. If he goes to LA County, you better believe niggas is gonna press him on that situation. And when they press him, he's gonna throw they, a bag. No, no, it's not a bag. He's throw it's a not a bag. 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 They gonna leave him alone. They gonna be like, oh shit, he gave us a million. Fuck that. I'm, I'm gonna buy you know what? You, you, you might got me fucked yeah. up. Yeah, what the fuck? I don't know how they this might get, work. He might hey, get stolen for $500 and get like a million. He gave us nah, I'm gonna okay. give you a couple cash. You know what? You got me there, fool. Because even everybody can be bought, dog. Exactly. Throw him a million, bro. They, bro, what happened? You're right. What you got, the fuck just you happened? Got me. You got me there, fool. Yeah. You got me there. You got me there, fool. That's why he's doing all this shit he's doing. Cause he don't give a fuck. He has millions. He's like, man, I'm, I don't give a fuck. He thinks Birdman's gonna have his back from New Orleans. I don't know how that shit's gonna go down, but that's I don't, what even, I don't even know much about his character, but I just know that you know he, he's somebody that's doing what he's doing. You know what? He made that happen. That nigga, that that fool's right though, Don. Like to be honest with you, hmm. I would never do that because I got integrity. At the end of the day, when I leave this earth. I want to know I did it on my own terms and I have my own morals that I stood to. You feel me? And that's a lot to do with our people. That goes back to our people. That shit goes to our as, trade. As right, Mexica man. people, Mexica people, we we're very prideful. We were not scared of death. Our people were never scared to die. You feel me? Uh, the European man, he was scared to die because he they didn't know where they were going. No, he listened to his king. The king would tell him, look, do this or I'm going to chop your head off. 
our king would never do that. When we had to get into a fight with somebody or something, it was over our, over our honor and our pride. So sometimes when the Mexica people, AKA known as the Aztecas, Aztec was the name that the Spaniards gave us. Our real name was Mexica, that's why it's called Mexico. But anyways, when our people was in peace, cause we just conquered all of our adversaries, we would section off sections of our kingdom to fight each other to death. That's kind of that's kind of like this. Yeah, because the reason okay. being is we had to constantly sacrifice our people to the gods, not our people, but people in general. Cut heads off. Hard. Now that says a lot to you. But do you know that we had the, one of the highest quality of living? And the reason we had the highest quality of living is because we were not afraid of death. Right? Because most of our people never lived to death in a natural way. We lived to hold death. Up, hold on, hold on. You lost me there. What did you, you say? Most of our people, yes. the Mexica people, the Aztec people, never lived to a natural death. They lived to a death. Yeah, by being sacrificed. So that. the white man moved out of fear. So if I'm in European Spain or Not motherfucking right. and some things like that, you have to do what you got to do because if you don't do it, you're going to get your head cut off. So what are you doing really? You're scared of dying. That's why you kill this man. So you're going to develop um, weapons and things to uh, uh, appease the fact that you're scared of death. So, for example, you're gonna uh, you're gonna make up the a gun. Weapons. You're Nobody gonna make up things that you can kill people. Technology or something. You're gonna kill. You're gonna make up things that will kill people from a long distance. The Mexica people were never those type of people. Anybody could say, "Hey, look at that! Turn around, you look that way and stab you in the back, and you're dead." That's not prideful. That's the not something that war people. that's not something that warrants you to move up to the next level in the that rank. kingdom, in that rank. Yeah. You feel me? So people that were like leopards or eagle warriors, things like that, they had to have killed a couple people, but not killed them in, in combat. That killed is. them because they sacrificed them, they took them into um so for example, let me put it let me break it down. But I thought they didn't kill them, they just hit them. Okay, so that's my point. So look, the Spaniards and the whites, all the Europeans, what they did is they worked off of fear. They had fear inside of their hearts. So they made up a gun that can kill somebody from hella Mom, far away. A sniper, hit him from mob. You know what I'm saying? They hit a nigga from far away. Our people, what we did, we didn't respect that. If you kill somebody in trickery or with a poison or something like that, it wasn't honorable. It wasn't honorable. Because we lived off of a pride and honor. That's why it's called brown pride because our pride drives us we care more about our, about our honor and our pride and our respect than our own lives sometimes so, your pride will fuck you over but that's that's what it well, is well fuck you over means death it wasn't nothing to these people so for example when you had to fight somebody our weapons were not guns were not these things that you could kill somebody from a far away our weapons were clubs with obsidian rock on the side of them that were only in stick an inch it, thick it, is it, only deep enough to cut through your skin, but not deep to enough kill you. to kill you. So my point being is, we were never scared of death. We were more scared of dishonor and disrespect than death. So if you were in a battlefield, it was never, let's kill this guy. Because it's easy to kill somebody. Mm -hmm. You can tell him to look that way, stab this nigga it's in his like living. Vikings. I don't know about the, like, the Vikings. I know about the Vikings. You have to die in combat to go with the... To go with the the guys, no, hell no. that's the, yeah, that's that that that's their motto or that's their religion, something like that. But yeah. So that explains a lot off of our people. We didn't really die at old age. We died because of sacrifices and things like that. So when somebody clubs you in the head with obsidian rock, that doesn't really kill you. But what it does do is it makes you go unconscious. Then that's enough, enough time for you to capture like a hog, like a pig. Yeah, I know. Take that man back to your tribe and you sacrifice him. Those fools are sick fucks. And that's the difference of why we, of the Spaniard and the Mexica man. But do you know what though? Even with that being said, we were not conquered by the Spaniards. But well, you think that that blood still runs in us? Oh, it definitely runs in us. If you've ever... Uh, look, first let me frame my first point. My first point is this. 
that is why you always see your dad or your cousin or somebody, somebody that's from it. We're very prideful. We'll die for our pride type of shit. Now, or machistas. Machistas or whatever you want to call it. That's why we are the way we are. Now, I was in school one day and my teacher was telling me this tap shit that I'm telling y'all. And she said to me, I'm like, I'm not like that. We don't sacrifice people for our days of our events. And she said to me, have you ever had a birthday? I said, yeah, we've had hello, yeah, we had a birthday. Have you guys ever killed a cow? I started thinking back in my head, yeah, man, we killed hella cows, you know what I'm saying? It's a my cow, grandpa goats, my grandpa pigs. It like nothing, like, bah. It's nothing. Now, like, oh, he said, why didn't y'all just buy the meat from the store? Because our people are already so used to this indoctrinated way of life that we don't even know nothing sacrifice about. sacrifice that's already been. That we have to sacrifice to something in order for life. So if you have a birthday, a quinceanera, wherever it is, we kill the cow to and sacrifice the cow without even knowing so much. It done? It's no so embedded in our culture that we do it for life. Turn it into a tradition. It's a tradition without even kill knowing it's pigs, a tradition. Cows. When there's a there's a deli right there. Why not it's just buy the meat from the store? <laughs> like, deli, bro. like everybody else. Why the fuck we go kill a pig? Now that was squealing. It still <laughs> it tastes better. We go go. Fresh <laughs> it does taste better. Get that shit. But the real reason is Whole Foods. It's Get inside of our culture. It's inside we're indoctrinated without even knowing it. When she said that to me, I thought back of all the traumatizing events I've had in my whole life. When I see my uncles kill goats in front of me, cows, I was crying. I was crying, swinging, swinging the I was, neck and shit. I was, I was like, oh, crying. Shit, what the and, and to be honest with you, I was I was crying, fool. To be honest with you, I seen these traumatizing events that made me feel like, hey, the dogs. Okay. The dogs went for a long walk. Then they never came back. <laughs> my grandpa was taking for a walk. <laughs> they would never come back. I'm like, when the fuck that dog came back? What's that? What's that dog? He was, hey, he was eating all the chickens. He said they went for a long walk. He had three chicks. And it was a wrap. You know what I'm saying? My grandpa, hey, oh, yeah, that coming out. Hey, hey Phil, I knew them tacos stays funny when I was over there. At your <laughs> 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 yeah. yeah I know. Hey, hey how the fuck you get a taco de asada and there's no motherfucking animals, bro? <laughs> how you get tacos de asada and they're three pesos? Hey, bro, my hey if I show up at the ranch like two weeks ago, I see hella animals and I come back, there's like none of the dogs are there or anything. The motherfucking dogs, they ain't <laughs> no. My Bro, grandpa's 97. I just came back from Mexico, dog. There's, there's some places they ain't have no animals. I'm like, where the fuck? I, I told him I want some. Where's the animals at? In your fucking taco? I don't know what that shit was, bro. I don't, I don't know what that shit was, but that shit was hella good. <laughs> that sounds like my boy. Yeah, it's like, yeah, you know that bro. chihuahua you have in your house that keeps barking at all your neighbors? That's what that was. It was hella good, right? Yeah, that shit made me feel like, bro, <laughs> it's fucking wild over there, though. It's wild as fuck. You have to be on point. Fuck that. Hey man, so look, let's let, let's cut this short. We already okay. went back a little past, past our hours. All right. So you know what I mean? This is the baby come podcast number four. Man, we are gonna get that shit. We gonna we gonna get updated. Next one, man. Tap in, tap in, subscribe, comment underneath, man. Get, get that shit going. Let us know what y'all want to talk about. Just comment yeah. on the uh, on the shit on the bottom. Man. Comment. Let's let's know what y'all want to talk <laughs> you about. Know what I'm saying I ain't gonna get specifics. Yes. Who's getting ready? Let's go. Come on, turn that shit. Boom.